Well, my dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> so we have heard the gospel, napakinggan natin po yung uh, uh, ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa paralitikong uh, lalaki. At um, uh, well, alam natin na uh, pinagaling ng ating Panginoon itong uh, uh, lalaking ito. At um, hindi lamang itong taong ito ang pinagaling, kundi yung mga napakaraming mga may sakit o karamdaman. There were so many. At uh, he had to, to run away uh, from this uh, people or for these sick people. Well, um, of course, our Lord uh, could not heal all of them. Um, and, well, He uh, cured some of them, healed them, but uh, they did not, uh, not all were healed. And, of course, Uh, we should remember that uh, here in this world, my dear brothers and sisters, we will all, we are all uh, uh, imperfect in the, in the sense that our life uh, does not uh, stay here forever in this world. Marami tayong mga sakit at hindi naman ma magagamot lahat yung mga sakit na yan. Why? Because there is a limit to our life. Ang pagkakasakit at uh, walang tao na mabubuhay uh, kahit na siya ang pinaka may mahabang buhay sa, sa mundo. And uh, those who were lucky enough Well, they live till 115, uh, to, uh, till uh, 120, you know. So, huwag ninyong sasabihin na uh, you will be living a long life or uh, forever. No, the only place where there is uh, eternal life is in heaven. So, huwag natin kalilimutan yan. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, we should be uh, very thankful to the Lord that we are uh, we are well, that we are uh, not uh, seriously sick, and we should continue to Saint Jude, to our Blessed Mother, and to Padre Pio, uh, because. Uh, we are more or less uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> but what we should also do uh, <clears throat> bilang pasasalamat sa ating Panginoon ay yung tulungan din natin yung mga may sakit, lalong-lalo na yung mga kamag-anak natin. Alam niyo mahirap din tumulong kung halimbawa It is asking for financial. Meron akong uh, kamag-anak na, um, <clears throat> well, may sakit. At ang sakit niya ay yung mga tungkol sa puso at uh, tungkol sa kanyang uh, mga dialysis, yung mga ganon. Ay uh, hindi naman makakapagbigay yung kanyang kamag-anak kasi ang mahal-mahal ng mga Uh, mga gamot at yung mga laboratory and so on and so forth you know? so kung minsan nakakaawa din yung mga mahihirap kung may sakit silang mga uh, yung mga dialysis mayroon yung mga uh, tuturok na ng uh, uh, insulin oh my gosh it's not only being sick but also to be able to get uh, money in order to 
uh, in order to get well. And not only get well, but it is also for life already. Mayroon ba ditong nagdadialysis? Mayroon ba ditong uh, nag insulin Well, once you have uh, that, then, well, that is practically until you die, until you pass away from this life. Kaya, uh, mga kapatid, uh, mahirap talagang magkasakit. And that is why if your relatives who are uh, relatively good or you're really, uh, you're really healed or uh, uh, you're well, then let us help our relatives or people who are really very poor. So uh, that is one. To be grateful to the Lord because we are healthy. And even if we are not healthy, it is uh, one way of uh, doing something good to those who are sick. Alam ninyo, I, um, it's not only maybe giving or helping by, uh, uh, by money, but maybe you can help by visiting uh, relatives who are really, uh, especially yung nasa uh, uh, bingwit na ng kamatayan o yung mga nasa uh, nasa uh, malapit na na mamatay. Nasa pre-departure area, ika nga. No? Now, you know, just for your presence, that will be already okay. And maybe pray for that uh, person. Alam nyo, nung pumunta ako sa Lourdes Hospital uh, just to uh, see my uh, doctor, nabanggit sa akin, Father, mayroon kayong pading, paring SBD na medyo matanda na. Uh, ah, ganun ba? Sabi, sabi niya, um, sige, dadalawin ko siya doon sa kanyang uh, room. At alam niyo, brothers and sisters, nung kumatok ako doon sa kanyang kwarto, binuksan niya. At sinabi niya, Oh, Father, maraming maraming salamat. At dinalo mo ako. Alam mo, tignan mo, mag-isa ako dito sa, uh, dito sa kwarto ko. Eh, uh, salamat, Father, that you came, sabi niya. Well, of course, ako naman ay uh, <laughs> sinabi ko sa sarili ko, ay hindi naman ako talagang layunin na pumunta sa kanya. No? Pero uh, uh, I did not realize that uh, it was a very good deed for me to visit these elderly priests. And, uh, you know, we, are, we had a talk like this. And then when I was about to leave already, sabi niya, Father, uh, don't forget that when you have a uh, confrere, a brother, a priest, uh, then uh, don't hesitate, sabi niya, to uh, go and uh, uh, meet them and pray for them. So you see, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, if we cannot give something that is material, we can visit uh, people who are sick or your relatives. So, huwag natin kalilimutan, lalong-lalo na kung tayo naman po ay malusog o tayo ay, uh, we are healthy. Because that is your way also of uh, thanking the Lord for your good health. Now, dear brothers and sisters, uh, the other thing that uh, we should also remember is that uh, uh, we try to, as much as possible, um, <clears throat> avoid, uh, avoid uh, uh, sicknesses. And this is something that we should also remember. That, uh, for example, we avoid sicknesses uh, like uh, 
of, for example, uh, cancer. Alam niyo yung mga nagka-cancer, uh, they, uh, um, they, uh, they smoke uh, cigarettes, you know? And not only that, I, yung uh, cancer can be also, uh, can also uh, happen when they uh, are, are drinking too much alcohol. Mm. So, kailangan po ay uh, gusto ngang we'll, we want to uh, be healthy. We want to uh, avoid uh, these things. But uh, many times we do not uh, listen to the uh, to the calling or to our uh, way of uh, avoiding this kaya nga minsan sabi ng isa no um father well uh, ako ay uh, mula ngayon kasi nagkaroon ako ng tumor ay eh, sabi niya ayaw ko nang kumakain ng mga may collaterals sabi niya <laughs> collaterals daw <laughs> cholesterol you no know? oo pero uh, so ngayon in a, in a, in a, uh, I avoid already this uh, kind of uh, uh, this kind of food and uh, so uh, let us remember this that we have to take care of our health you know uh, there are some people when they have already some ailments especially serious ones, you know, heart uh, stroke like that, or they have, uh, they're undergoing dialysis already, then that is the time that they are uh, already, uh, they are already uh, sad and at the same time, they regret that uh, they did not avoid, you know, uh, this uh, uh, food and these things that, um, like cigarettes, for example, that uh, will really uh, destroy their internal organs. But dear brothers and sisters, so first, that if we are healthy and we are um, blessed by the Lord, magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. And then second, if we may be uh, blessed by the Lord, let us also help relatives or other people who are poor and help them in their medication and in their, in their own in their own way. And then um, the other is uh, yes, we pray for uh, good uh, for good health. But we should also avoid foods or uh, things that uh, will uh, help you and uh, that will avoid um, <clears throat> many sicknesses uh, with you. And finally, uh, let's uh, visit our sick and show them that we care for them. So, let us pray for good health. Let us pray to be grateful. Let us pray to help the sick. Amen.